Good afternoon on this soggy Tuesday, hence why I'm hiding in my car skiving from doing any work. A couple of things I want to talk about this afternoon. I'll start with the first one, which is Arsenal's pre-season tour starts in 16 days. Yes, 16 days. The 13th of July, we kick off against Sydney FC. Um, I'm quite concerned, to be honest with you, because... I'm looking at it now thinking we've only really got rid of Yaya Sonogo. So Gibbs is still here, Jenkinson's still here, Debucci's still here, Walcott's still here, Gabriel's still here. Quite worrying. Ospina, you know, it just seems like everyone's linked with all our players and do we want to get rid of them? It don't look like it, does it? You know, same with when we're linked with players, we're linked with everyone but sign none of them. So... I'm a little bit confused because we were told there's a catalyst for change and this is a different Arsene Wenger and this is a different Arsenal this summer. Well, I don't know about you lot, but it looks like in exactly the same summer from the last 10 years. You know, we've got a lot of bang average footballers at this football club that are on big, big money. And it doesn't look like any of them want to leave or whether we want to get rid of any of them, to be honest with you. And I'm quite concerned about that because they're... they're there's a good seven or eight that could quite easily go today and I wouldn't bat an eyelid at it and that would probably free up the best part of about 600 grand in wages which would then fund the likes of better and bigger names but you know we shall see it's still early-ish but the fact that pre-season starts in 16 days and we've only got one sign-in and only let Yaya Sonogo go <laughs> that sounded quite funny. Yaya Sano go go. Um, it's quite it's quite worrying. Anyway, on to the next thing I want to talk about. Alexis Sanchez is currently at the Confederations Cup with Chile. They've made it through to the semi-finals, um, but he still hasn't signed a new contract. He's being linked with Man City in a swap deal with Aguero, which I don't believe that story one bit. I do believe Man City won him, though. I just don't believe they'd give us Aguero in exchange. Um, he's been linked with Bayern Munich all summer. Um, but until now, nothing is concrete, is it? And the, the fact that he is away on international duty for at least the rest of this week, is he going to be going to Sydney? And if he is going to Sydney, I can't see him featuring much. And if he does feature much, is he going to be ready for the start of the season? Um, that's if he's even here. Nobody knows. That one's going to run and run, I think. I think that's going to go all summer and then he'll probably leave um, right at the back end. Mesut Ozil is currently swanning around Miami um, on holiday again. What do you expect from Mesut? He's been on holiday since January. Um, Sweden, Germany, Turkey, and now he's flying around Miami. What a life. I'm in the wrong job. But I'm a little bit confused with the Ozil one because... He, again, hasn't signed a new contract yet. From what we hear, it's only Fenerbahce that won him, which is laughable in itself. Um, so really, he's going to stay. We all know he's pretty much nailed on to stay. So if he is going to stay, why is he on holiday? Why hasn't this been done and then fly out on holiday? I don't get why why we've allowed him to go and... Yeah, fair enough, I'm not a banker. You know, these players do need time away. I get that. But when there's a contract up in the air and we don't know whether he's coming or going, how have we allowed him to go on holiday? Sort your contract out, then you can do what the fuck you want. Yeah, you know, I ain't, I ain't out of order like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm extremely worried for this season ahead because I know there's still a long time to go before people start putting that in the comments section. There is still a long time to go. But the likes of Man City have gone out there and identified their players. They've been linked with the players and then they've signed the players. We're linked with everyone and have signed one player. Um, you know, Giroud's linked with Leon and West Ham. Theo's linked with West Ham. They ain't going to West Ham. Our players get linked here, there and everywhere and end up staying and signing new deals. So it's quite worrying the fact that we're going into a pre-season in two, just over two weeks and all of our squad are pretty much still all together. We've only got one new sign-in and we've only let one player go. You know, in my opinion... We should be getting our business done now, done and dusted, and go into pre-season with the squad that is going to take us through the next season. What do I know? Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the love on the video. 
um, previous videos and uh, stick your comments down below let me know what you think about my uh, my ramblings and um, yeah have a great day